Um, and we got to put Lizzo in prison. Um, this is what I love about wokeness because it, it opens you up. They go, hey, you're playing by these rules. That means you're vulnerable to these rules as well. You know, nobody's going to try to sue Kid Rock <laughs> for pressuring them into touching a stripper. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't have any image to uphold or be ruined by an accusation. So Liz was being sued for allegedly pressuring and weight shaming her former dancers. Dance, you fatty boom baddies. Hey, circle bitch, dance. <laughs> she weight shamed. Ron Zambrano. Uh, this is a guy who gets in on a bullshit claim. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Ron and Re Ron, Ronnie and Vinny Zambrano, attorneys at law. <laughs> You got some fucking bullshit allegations that you want to levy against a celebrity who might be vulnerable to those allegations because it could really expose hypocrisy? Call up Ronnie Zambrano attorneys. We'll fucking get you a bag. <laughs> Ron Zambrano will get you a fucking bag. Guaranteed. Guaranteed fucking bag. You kidding me, dog? Here we go. This is a statement from, uh, from, uh, Ronnie Zambrano himself. Excuse, how you guys doing? How you doing? Uh, my name is Ronnie Zambrano. I'm from Suffolk County. Suffolk County, yeah. I just got moved off of that serial killer case down there, down there in Suffolk, on Huntington. Down in they put me over here on this fucking Lizzo case. I'd never heard of this fat fuck until uh, they told me it was a bag to get. So I came over here. Uh, how you doing? My name is Ronnie Zambrano. Uh, operate, operating out of uh, operating out of Garden City, Queens. You get me down there in Garden City. Zambrano and Zambrano. It's me and my brother, Ron and Joey Zambrano, attorneys at law. For fucking, we sue people. We get you a bag. We get you a bigger bag than a fucking kid. Lost it. Oh, no. <laughs> Bleep it. I think I was blocking. But you know that's what he would say. Yeah. Okay, he goes, this is his statement, wherever would. You can hear him. How Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. You know when they were writing this, they were cracking up. Him and his brother, they were fucking cracking up. They were sitting there. You know they're fucking cracking up. Like, I really believe Marky Mark and Donnie crack up right before Marky does a prayed up video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they crack up and go, you going to say prayed up again? It's like, yeah, dog, this Catholic thing really, <laughs> this Catholic thing's really making people forget that I used to beat people up on the street <laughs> and fuck Giannis' girlfriend in high school. I'm not a great guy. But if you stay prayed up, I'm very religious, you know? You know they crack up. Donnie's right there with his receding hairline. Yeah, Marky. Yeah, boys. Are we selling more wall burgers, boys? Yeah, I'll flip the burgers, boys. And then there's a third wall burger. You ever notice him? The Fredo? Oh, no. There's a third Fredo. There's a Fredo oh, really? in the wall burger crib. And he, it's funny that he, just, he was like, my brothers, I got a, this fucking guy. He's still right. torn with the Backstreet Boys. What were they, Backstreet Boys or he New was, Kids in the Block? Right, right, Which right. is one of my favorite stories of appropriation. It's funny. That is cultural appropriation. Right, right. But you know who did it? was the manager of New Edition. New so it was Edition. a black guy who said, hey, let's cash in on these white dollars. Let me make a white band that looks like this actual talented black band. They don't got to be talented. I just got to get one of each of these fucking crackers and put them together and cash in. <laughs> Cha-ching. And it worked. Oh, it worked big. Donnie and Joey and Zoe and Polly. <laughs> Hanging tough. Was that them? Hanging yeah, tough. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God. Makes me want to throw up in my deck. <laughs> Hanging tough. How funny are you doing a song called Hanging Tough to a bunch of 14-year-old screaming suburban white girls? There ain't nothing tough in that arena, my friends. You're getting back on a tour bus. Hanging tough. Um, yeah, so there's a there's a third brother, and he's the one, I think, who holds down the wall burgers. Mm. So I, 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 you got to give him credit to... Mark, he took care of his he took care of his lesser brothers. <laughs> find a little job for you. You find a little job for you, dog. Yeah. I find a little job for you. You know what I mean? I get you a job. Yeah, boss, I can do things too, boss. I'm smart. Hey, Marky, I'm smart. <laughs> you flip that fucking burger. Flip that fucking burger. I'm from Boston. My name's Marky Mark, okay? All right? You flip that fucking burger, man. Flip that fucking burger. You're my little fucking brother. You're my older brother, okay? But I was the one born with all the muscles. I was the one born with the big-ass cock, okay? It's my cock, Jack. We're going to film what I want to film. Okay? I know you're... What's your name, Donnie? Fucking, you got a receding hairline. <laughs> We're going to make burgers.
burgers. What you know? They don't had, never had a passion for burgers. It was some fucking marketer came along and said, "Wahlberg, right? Uh, it sounds like burgers. Let's open a burger <laughs> yeah. joint. Right. Let's put the Wahlberg in burgers." But he stays prayed up, and he's a good Christian. He's selling. What are you doing? All the cows. Jesus is mad at you. It's not my fault, all right? I'm trying to do things. I'm good for my brothers, man. Fucking crazy, all right? My name's Mark Wahlberg, dude. <laughs> So, back to Ronnie Zimbrano. He says, while privately the weight shaming, while privately she weight shames her dances. So, did I finish reading this yet or not? No. I stopped because I got into the Mark Wahlberg thing, which was worth it. So, he, Ronnie Zimbrano goes, how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. Okay? This reminds me of only my last case against the Catholic diocese in Syracuse. Okay? They were touching kids. These people were touching the insecure spots of my clients, the dancers, hearts. While privately she weight shames her dances, she stands for it publicly while privately stands for it publicly. What he could have said, like, stands, um, stands heavily. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, well, how Lizzo and her management team treated their performance seems to go everything Lizzo stands heavily for in public, pun intended. <laughs> While privately she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in a way that are not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. How is it illegal to call someone a fatty boom batty? What does that mean? How is that illegal? Is that the world we live in now? Where you can't be mean? Ron Zimbrano. Has anyone nice ever got anything done? If you if it was illegal, to, imagine that they had lawsuits against this like Steve Jobs when he was calling someone dirt or a snail and he was going work and he was just whipping them to come up with ideas, like that's how things get done. It's ugly, but you know why do we? Why does everyone insist on knowing how the fucking sausage is made? You don't don't meet your heroes. They'll disappoint you. Okay, they got daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> They're not who you see on stage. I don't know how many ways to slice this for you. Lizzo has yet to publicly uh, respond. You know who's really happy about this probably is Adele. Going, I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> they tried to say that I did something wrong by being healthy for me. I went and lost weight. Okay, finally, there was white guys who were hitting on me. I, I opened up my pool of people who want to fuck me. It used to just be Jamaican guys in East London. But now I'm getting Romanian guys. Greek guys, <laughs> British guys, everybody's into, into uh, Adele. What did I say? Did I say Adele? Um, yeah, because they gave her shit for losing weight. Yeah, yeah. And like then Lizzo became the fat hero because, mm -hmm. you know, Adele used to be one of the fat heroes and then Lizzo was the only one. And now it turns out Lizzo's a big old fat shamer. She hates fatties. Lizzo, born Melissa Vivian Jefferson. There's a 0% chance a girl named Melissa Vivian Jefferson is going to be a white girl. Lizzo, uh, a.k.a. Big Girl, Big Touring Inc. <laughs> big Girl, Big Touring Inc. Along with Shirlene Quigley, who is Lizzo's dance team captain, and John Hunter Amazon series, Lizzo's Watch Out for These Big Girls, <laughs> are named as defendants, though not all the allegation pertains to each of them. Now, look, I'm making comedy, right? Because I can... I can uh, you're guilty until proven innocent on my show for comedy. <laughs> yeah. For comedy, you have to be guilty until proven innocent. This could all be bullshit for a payday. She could be real nice to them and 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 bring them George Foreman grills right. and chicken pot pies. Right. She could be, uh, be like, which girl? How many young girls need a thousand wings? I'll eat them with you. Who knows? <laughs> they could be having a Viking style, uh, Roman. Uh, battle winning celebratory type of meal after they dance and she's involved and they're putting wings in each other's mouths and they're eating ice cream and they're rubbing it on their tits and eating it all. Who knows? And they're just going, hey, let's just try to make a bag here and get a quick buck. Because I don't think, I look, I'm joking, but I think Lizzo's a, uh, uh, doesn't like to eat alone. If I know, if, <laughs> I know a girl who doesn't, she said she's out, you know. Then there's the other girls who are fat. They're going, I don't know, I have a thyroid problem. You're going, I think you like to eat alone. I think you like to eat alone. I think you hide Snicker bars under these floorboards. I think you got, I think you got candy hidden. I think you have hiding spots. I think you try to hide them from yourself. So at least when you want them, you make it a treasure hunt. But guess the problem is you remember the route every single time. You memorize it. 
even if you get blackout drunk and you're like, I'm just going to put the fucking candies here so when I'm sober I can't find them and I'll have the urge and I won't be able to do it. But the problem is you have a fat heart and the heart remembers what the brain won't. <laughs> and, you, and here's the thing, fat people can smell better. That's something people don't know. Fat people, they've done studies. Oh, yeah, they yeah they, it, was this, it was this study by the same group that RFK quotes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a study, and I learned this from RFK. There was one study that said fat people actually have a better sense of smell. So if you try to hide the candy from them, they will find it. So, you know, it is what it is. So um, the lawsuit details a night in Amsterdam in February when Lizzo peed on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the details of night in Amsterdam where Lizzo decided to go to a rooftop party and drink during the day. And the neighbors uh, started calling and saying they thought that a UFO had landed on a rooftop and was blocking the sun. They wanted to know if a solar eclipse was happening. There's a lot of people who call, who tweeted at uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and said, is there supposed to be a solar eclipse over Amsterdam today? <laughs> Why can't I make these jokes? She's the one doing the mean stuff. <laughs> I am I am fighting the bully. Look, I, here's the thing. I struggle with weight as well. I'm technically obese, so I get it. I understand what emotional eating is all about. <laughs> <laughs> the lawsuit is the night. The dancers and Lizzo's have visited a club in the red light district. Blah, 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 blah. They interact with nude performers at this place. The suit alleges Davis, was Davis, one of the dancers, was pressured into interacting with a performer after repeatedly insin insulting, insinuating she didn't want to. Lizzo also coerced the security guard to take off his pants on stage. This is such a bullshit suit. Mm, yeah. You mean you guys were out having fun? Yeah. And you decided to try to get a bag? <laughs> Because there's a guy out there, Ronnie Zambrano, that's willing to give it a shot. Here's, <laughs> yeah. here's another commercial. Hey, this is Ronnie Zambrano. Me and my brother Joey Zambrano. Our motto is, hey, we're willing to give it a shot. 